Yeah. Woo! That, 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 that seven one was tough, Jeff. I didn't sure we were going to get there. I wasn't either, but we did indeed. And yet again, that one ended as so many before it have. With my yes, heavy, we a lot, lot of pain of on that side of the ball. And yet another loss. Saddled with a seventh straight loss was Miami. And you know they won't come up here and win next year, so that'll be eight. My goodness, this is really... It's is a, it even a rivalry anymore? No, yeah, we'll get the into that. We'll get into that. We'll get into that. We'll get into that. All right. All right, all right. Seven Hill Tap Room here. We're going to show you in a minute how great, and they've got a great beer. We're going to feature in the segment too, man. I, it's one of my favorites. I mean, you love this porter, don't you, Jeff? Uh, we, yeah, I'm trying not to slam it while give we it do away, a show. Yeah. yeah, it's really good. And of course, our friends at Jimmy John's, freaky good, freaky fast, freaky fresh. And you're going to tailgate. It's homecoming. A lot of parents in town, man, stop by the Jimmy John's. They've got Gaines Street. They got Tennessee. They got Pensacola. Stop by on your way to the game. Load up on those mini Jimmies. I noticed a few mini Jimmies are missing, Jeff. Yeah, I, I had, how, I had a couple happen. there. Had a couple of turkey right there. Very yeah, good. Very good. That, but mm -hmm. they're good stuff. You can check them out also at JimmyJohns.com. Now, I'll go ahead and load up. I've got here. a good one here. You, you get, got you, one. Yeah, I got I'm one. Go you over here and get I'll eat your chips while you're doing that. Let me tell you how this works here. You get one of these magic cards right here. You go into what's beautiful, Jeff. You can put as much as you want in there. Let's well, say you only use ten dollars worth, you get it back. I am aware of this. You put trick. an ounce or two yes, in there, you yes, test it out, right. you don't like it, you move on to the next one. They've got I so have many been different kinds. To get as You're much gonna as find I one want. you like. That's yeah, true. So you do this, we'll put it in here. I've already got, you know, one of my favorites, one of your favorites, the nutsack. So uh, we'll uh, You can't go wrong with some nutsack. <laughs> put Very a little delicious. nutsack in there. There we go. And there you go. Simple as that. So the nut sack is ready to go tonight. Yes. All we'll right. Load it up on the nut Good sack. stuff. All right. Now the funny thing about we were talking about the pain on Miami. It's funny to listen to their broadcast. So oh, we're, so we're we have their broadcast. Here. We're gonna oh, do a special. So keep goodness. it down here with the unmentionables. Keep it down here. We're gonna hear this, and you online will be able to hear this as well. So let's probably be better online, it. right? Let's see. So the, how'd you like the mind? That's how, I know you've done some classes. Is that how you call games? That's exactly games. how I call it. I assume a lot of things that are going to happen in the future. Sure. Extra point. Don't stop messing with me. Of course, yeah, the extra no, point's good. You don't need to mess with it. You're a funny man, Gene. Oh yeah, yeah. boy. <laughs> That was not the real. We'll give that wasn't the real Miami Bar. It was really no, no, no. I, I thought it was. So um, the oh look, boy. that forlorn, oh. desperate. Are you kidding me? This happened again. Look, oh is my, my can, when they do that stadium pan and you see the anguish on Miami fans. Isn't, isn't that the best about this whole thing? Is the fact they were actually thought they were favored for this game. They yeah. were in the top ten. They thought the U was back. Sure. And to be able to just pull that away from isn't it almost more satisfying? When much you're more. Much more. I mean, it's it's tough when you're going through it and the game is back and forth as this was, but. It it is much more rewarding knowing the agony, the schadenfreude that you're able mm -hmm. to engage in. I will also say that look on, on that poor girl's face, and I've got <laughs> nothing against her, uh, it's the same look that's been on their faces for so many years now. It's always the same shot, that kind of pan away, oh look, these losers lost again. <laughs> it's happened again to them. Here they are, just stuck in their own suck as usual. Time and again, it's glorious. So your favorite moment for the game. First, you know, when they really thought they were doing it, and then you had the wheel route to Dalvin Cook for the touchdown. That's when they go, here we go again. How was that? Was that up there pretty high? Yeah, it was up there. Uh, I was in the stands in 2014, and something similar happened on the tipped ball where we end up scoring. I guess Carlos gets it and goes in, and you can see that yeah, look wash yeah. over their faces again, sort of that. We're going to lose again to these bastards. And the look there on their faces happened yes. just like that. After they had a chance to, to really salt it away, and Kaya does what Kaya always does, is throw a pick in a crucial situation against any team that's any good, when the game matters most. That's why he's never won a significant game in his career. 
And that ball gets picked, and that was a chance for them to salt the game away. And then, of course, Florida State goes down and makes it 13 yeah. to 10. And you really knew Kermit that Kermit Whitfield point. scores on yeah. that one. Yeah, sure. The block extra point, which we just saw, that was actually, I think we'll show another clip of that. There we go. We yes. can really show that in perpetuity. Yeah, over and over again. Uh, yeah, that's, I, would, I would go and with that, that over and over my again. My favorite part might have been, because we're talking about their fans, is the class they demonstrated when things weren't going so well at the end, and they took their frustrations out by the trash, throwing the trash on the field. You can renovate you know, the right stadium. There. You can renovate yeah. the stadium, Gene. You know what I love on this picture of you? Look closely at that Corona can. Can you see anything yeah. unusual? Uh, I see they have very good aim. Yeah. There's a line right There's by the Corona can. By the That's can. impressive, yeah, well Miami done, fan. Yeah. Um, no, you know, I mean, again, you can renovate that stadium, but you really can't change the quality of fan that walks into it that roots for Miami. So that's not surprising. So let's talk about seven in a row now against. This is seven. It's it's crazy, Jeff. That's seven in a row. I mean, there are whole generations of Kane fans who've never seen an actual. Well, that poor girl, win. that that far away oh, look at her eyes. She born. was in elementary school. She <laughs> does. I mean, she says, "Dad, you once told me that we won this game. What are you talking about?" Now you know it's crazy. They haven't won at home since 2004. Yeah, that's a long time. You think about that over that a is... decade. It's so many years. So much time. People have seen their loved ones pass in that time, and, and they'll never get them well, back. Here's to be some able of the to things in 2004. You know, most people didn't have Wi-Fi back in 2004. <laughs> you know, that was the year. Facebook, well, I know the iPhone didn't exist. No, Facebook did, was, came out that year. That was the wow, year that Facebook came my in. my goodness. Keep it real. Uh, Google released Gmail that year. And I don't think anybody knew that, right? No. I mean, George W. Bush was in his, still in his first term of office when that game yeah, happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Ben Roethlisberger was the rookie of the year in the NFL. Oh, my word. Coming yes. straight out of uh, Miami of Ohio. Yeah, yeah, the other that? Miami. And I think the more Jeff, successful Miami. And it says here Jeff Cameron was still in high school. That is not true. <laughs> it is not true. I, I no, wish that were true. Not that young? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not that young. I all wish. Right, all right. Yeah, I think yeah. TV, they're black and white TV back then. <laughs> Elvis had the number one song in the charts. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Oh, boy. All right. Now. Let's talk a little bit about, uh, what am I getting into here? At which know. point is it not a rivalry? That's oh, yeah, what I yeah, was yeah, going to bring yeah, up. Yeah, Let's yeah. just jump on that, yeah. man. Let's go there. Is it, is it getting to that point? Well, but the know, games are close. I'm going to give you a true so story. I'm going to give you a true story. I was in Lincoln, Nebraska once. A buddy of mine got his master's from, Lincoln, from Nebraska, and he got his Ph.D. from Florida State. And he said, i got to take you to a Nebraska-Colorado game. This is back in the late 90s when Colorado was still relevant. Yeah. Although they found their way back into the polls these days. But uh, we, went to the, we went to the game, and we were drinking beforehand, and, and the Nebraska fans were watching in, in amusement as the Colorado fans were chiding Nebraska fans. And, Col and, and Nebraska had pointed out that they had won 17 of 19. And they said, you know, it's only a rivalry to you guys. Yeah, I think we're point. at the point okay. of chiding Miami fans Miami at this day? point where okay. we can put our arm around them the next time we see them when they come here to, to lose eight straight and say it's only a rivalry to you guys. I mean, at some point, the other team has to win for it to be a rivalry. That's a good point. Though. Yeah, I, I, mean, I can buy that. Yeah, and you mentioned eight in a row at the beginning of the show, and I think that's sure. very viable. It's back up in Tallahassee. Mm -hmm. Who are their two best players? Corn Elder is a legitimate cornerback. I give him that. He's a senior. He's gone. Yeah, he's gone. Stacey Coley, the best receiver, Very gone. good receiver, gone. Kai is a Kai decent may quarterback. Kai may go pro. But Even if he stayed, it wouldn't matter. He's never beating Florida State. So, yeah, I mean, that's... And that breaks the record. That's the all-time. I mean, we've And we own right the now. current record, which yeah. is tied with seven, and, and this is like eight, yeah. Well, well, you know, I'm going for the Platinum Bohica, so Ooh. we're, we're going to continue down that path and hope that it happens. One game at a time, not to One use game, a, you're uh, right, yeah, yeah. Coach it's true, cliche. All right, let's talk about your favorite subject, the Miami fans, who Miami really fans. showed things off. And let's say, first of all, when they were being very excited during the game, and there we go. Oh, there they yeah. are during the game when things are going well. Yeah. You know, yeah. they're into it. That guy's getting it. He's feeling it, but right? But then, you know, some things Is started. Is he a professional rapper? So then some things started no, to happen no, in the stands. They started throwing stuff and, uh, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. things started There's going the wrong team. way. Yeah, you can yeah. see this stuff going on the field. There it goes. There it goes. And then, of course... There's the after the extra point. We saw some of those. Oh no no, this is this is after. This is their stadium. This is the trash on the stadium after the game. Look at that. Yeah. That is that is very crazy. typical. Like a bomb went off yeah, there. How do they yeah. treat their stadium like that? Well, it is Miami, Gene. I mean, and there's some more crazy. shots of this. It's certainly not. Yeah, we're gonna see in the morning. There's the morning oh, after. There's the morning after. <laughs> now the even Miami Beach. Here's my. We're gonna have a shot of Miami not Beach good, in the morning. Not good. You know, that's just how they are down oh, man, there. Man, man, tough times. <laughs> Woo. What is going That's on a bit with rough. that, Jeffrey? Brutal. What it's uh, not shocking. Now you've had you've been down there lately, but what's your experience? May, most memorable moment down there. I was there. walking to, uh, back at the old Orange Bowl, uh, which smelled like urine. And you used to have to, if you recall, you, to get a parking space, there was always no blocking, no blocking. You could park in people's right, yards. Right, right. I actually kind of missed that tradition in a weird way. And uh, nonetheless, uh, I was walking to buy beer at the famed corner gas station, oh, where, yeah. which is still there. It, it's uh, it, it's still there by the new Marlin Stadium there. Uh, but anyhow, 
I went to get some, and I was walking back with my buddy Todd Van Dyke, and we were going to go tailgate, and a truck with all Miami fans in the back hopped the curb and threatened to, to hit us with that. This one guy was holding a pipe because we were wearing Florida State shirts, yeah. and they were just disgusted at the idea that somebody rooted for another program wow. other than theirs, and I was threatened by like 10 guys so in the back that, of the truck. So does that explain the vitriol for uh, the year? Well, no, I, they, you know, there's just not a lot to like about Miami. <laughs> but uh, that said, I, I, I remember kind of laughing, thinking, well, I hope this doesn't happen, obviously. It's two against 10, and they're holding pipes, but I thought, that speaks, that's a classic stereotype that comes true. It's, uh, you know, with, with Miami fans too often. I think, um, I, and so, yeah. I think I've told this story before. And I went to a couple of games before. The first time in the press box was 2000 at Miami. Yeah, yeah. The old Orange Bowl going on, that was one of those famous games that happened down there. And, you know, I'm surprised because you get this lecture. You've been in a lot of press boxes, no cheering in the press box, right? That's correct, yeah. Their fans were straight. No, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter the press, <laughs> anything goes there. So I'm sitting there all quiet, wearing a War Chant shirt. A lot of cheering going. I'm like, all right, whatever, whatever they want to do. So that was the Matt Munyon miss. Yep. And let's just say one gentleman who's a media member decided to display obscene sexual gestures in my direction. He's a media and, member. Yes, a media member. And I'm like, okay, wait a minute. The sports information people at Miami are sitting right behind me. I'm going to say, hey, should this stop? Yeah. I look behind. They're chest bumping and high fiving. Yes, yeah, so that point, yeah. So the class that was my, you know, in the press. Exactly. Does it? Yeah, it's well that, done. That's how they roll Miami. Before we conclude, Jeff. We know about the Miami fans. Is there any other fans that are comparable that you? No, no. Really? I, I, well, no, unless I mean no fans that I can think. Oakland? No, I'm saying college. I college? Mean, you You're gonna go with Florida? Well, I don't know. I'm saying, <laughs> well, I'll tell you the, the one Demarcus Walker said. Did you read his quote this week? I believe he did say that Miami fans were the worst, right? Well, he but he said hey, he goes also NC State's up there too. Oh well, the urine bombs. Yeah, yeah, we got oh, there guy, it is. You know. Oh yeah. yeah. You know, I just forget about them because they're insignificant. They're not relevant. They're but, not relevant. but they are really bad fans. Yeah, you're right. got up there. Yeah, they're awful. I'm sorry. I forget. You're right. NC State. <laughs> well, and it's mainly that they like to. to they're the redheaded stepchild of the league. Don't they pee on one another? Yeah. There's, not, we, there's an actual them. article written about this. Yes. I'm not making that up. You can find the article in which NC State fans, others that are a little bit more civil, are complaining about the fact that they've had <laughs> urine dumped on them. Well, they're, you know, they're drinking um, beer. Then you know how it is. Yeah. You don't want to make the trip sure, to the bathroom. Sure, sure. Just go. Just pee on. Mary in front of you, by all means. You know, it's just a football game. And I guess Florida get just, down. Florida annoys you because they're obnoxious because they got the Tebow yeah, thing. I they got the Tebow thing going sure. on there. So, you know, that whole thing sure, going on there. Yeah. And the jorts. My and then, word, that is. Uh, all that kind of stuff. That's They're annoying. I guess they're not as bad as Miami fans. They're just no, annoying. they're a little bit more loyal. A lot of them went to school there, unlike Miami fans. Miami fans look at it as a gang that they belong to. Yeah. And, that's and they didn't go to school there. Well, of course they didn't. That's the thing that bothers me. No, they Florida couldn't get in in school there. They didn't have to go School there, like high school either, so, so it's just a lot of the gang symbols and yeah. so forth. Sure. Yeah. Why well, can't wait till we come back, Jeff? Because we are trying one of the best porters. We're going to tell you about it. We have ever, I've ever had. I don't know. We'll get your judgment on it here. Yeah, I'm shortly. a big porter guy. Let's so talk right. about that next on the War Champ Man Cave Show. Welcome back to the War Champ Man Cave Show. I think. I don't know if that's Jimmy John's, but something really special is, is something, playing right there. I think yeah. it's an animated uh, Jimmy John's again. thing. Oh, that's yes. a good thing. All Check right, those right. guys out at Jimmy John's. Freaky good, freaky fast, freaky fresh. Get yourself some mini Jimmy's for tailgating this weekend or go to JimmyJohns.com. And, of course, the wonderful tap room here. We are having a good Seven time. Hill, if, you're, if you're a craft beer guy, there's nowhere else to go here in Tallahassee. Plus, it's just a classy atmosphere. It's nice. Pool. You got a little you pool the, table. You got the shuffle board. You, you got, got the, a bar. You got some TVs in yeah, here for all the good stuff. Nice, nice. Before we get some tasty porter, Jeff, I got, we got to can't talk all about Miami and Florida. Gave up a game. They're supposed to play LSU at home last week. What the hell is that about? And then they just decided... Not Squid. only do they cancel, they don't even like have a plan to reschedule. Like, okay, uh, Georgia, South the Carolina played Sunday. Yes. I guess they, well, I guess their stadium in Gainesville was, had, was occupied on Sunday. What was going on there? <laughs> I don't know what was going on there. There we go. But you know what? I think they're trying to be sneaky. I think Foley's thinking he could go ahead and win the SEC. East. Well, you can by winning percentage, right? We, you can. Technically, technically they could have. They don't have can. to reschedule yeah. that game, and yeah. they go ahead and give them. They will technically beat out Tennessee, who's got to play A&M and Alabama in the West, which is kind of a, a little unfair. Kind right? of, but they would really they would get over on Tennessee even when Tennessee I don't imagine beat. that commissioner is going to come back through here and say something about this. They're going to have to play so. that game, right? I would hope so. But here's the funny thing. Their home record. You see who they're playing at home, Jeff? Presbyterian. U UMass, Kentucky, uh -oh. North Texas, Missouri, South Carolina, Presbyterian. Those teams have a 9-20 and record, those teams. Against Power 5 teams, only three wins, and those three wins are against Kentucky, two of Kentucky, and one of South Carolina. 
So that's how bad yeah, their home. It it's the worst home schedule in the history of I think Power Five teams. But the Blue Hose could rise. Up. The Blue Hose. The blue the hose could there rise they are. Up. Blue Hose are getting the ready. For the there they are. Rise, they're they're getting ready for the Florida game. They could rise up. How about that name of the Blue Hose? It's a thing of beauty. Look at that. <laughs> they, they, you can see the grit in their eyes. They're ready for the Gators. All right, let's let's, talk, let's talk some beer here. Let's bring some beer up here. We got our friend Hal from the tap room. And oh my goodness, how this is a thing oh, of beauty. We're going to show you this. this. My you know, if you, if you watch the show, if you've been here for a while, you know Jeff and I are the big fans of the Porter. Porters and Stouts. And we also like that when they have the coffee in it. So this has the best of both worlds. Well, let, so let's hear how. Tell us about Tell us all about it. It's one of my favorite breweries. and They're of, moving up my list. One of Gene's favorite breweries, one of his favorite beers. So I've heard. Yes. It's called Last Snow. It's from Funky Buddha. They brew it twice a year. It's brewed with coffee and coconuts. Mm-hmm. And this this time around is very coconutty. Very you think it's more than usual? I, I'd say it, it, it hits you right fun. off the gates. The also, you, it's taste super the fresh. They just brewed a few weeks ago, so the coconut's mm. still really prevalent and present. That's um, nice. But yeah, this is uh, in one of like the highest respected beer rating websites out there. It's the sixth ranked porter in the world. Wow. Yeah. Well, I saw it was a 98 on what was a beer after the one had a 98 yeah, out of 100, about. which is like that's only the that they call that what is that the world class or something that's mm-hmm. called? Yeah. But yeah, top porters. This is the sixth ranked porter from wow. in Africa. the world. Wow. Out of out of 5,000 something beers, that's and all. You're it, damn right. The interesting is. thing is they they have two other porters that are that are ranked higher than last time as well. What? Funky Buddha makes some great porters. Well, I bet we can get Funky those Buddha's at some point here. here. They'll have them right? right? Yeah. Some of, the things that, some of the things that are higher rated, you can't get unless you're at the brewery uh, and really lucky. But uh, but this one, a lot of us can get. And we luckily. did. They made a lot of it this year, so we can all enjoy it. Cheers, Al. Cheers, guys. To last snow and to seven in a row. Seven in a row over there. Woo! Nice to Thank you, brother. Oh, thank you, Hal. Good stuff, man. You get that right here, man. Come to the – and you get a crowler of this stuff. Man, I may be getting a crowler tonight bringing this home. You find that amusing? You really, you really do like this beer. I do, man. I get, what, yeah. what is your... I, I, know, I like the beer. I do. I do. I love it. I'm just laughing. I'm a coconut we're, guy. You I are. like me some coconut. Well, That's we, why were off, very... we were off the air, and you brought it up I several times. I was all times, giddy about it. Yeah. And then now we're on the air, and you're giddy about it. And it's <laughs> funny. You just followed it up with a, uh, a, a statement. Well, let's uh, get your top three porters. I'm, we're going to do a little beer talk. This here. is really, really good. Uh, you know, I actually do like the Pipeline Porter. I know I Pipeline should, is up there. It's a very good porter. It's just a solid porter. I also like... There's a porter that uh, I believe it's, um, oh, God, who am I thinking of? The uh, top three porters. Oh, Founders makes a really Founders good porter. Founders is very yeah, A really good porter, one. yeah. So I like, I like Founders porter. I like the, uh, the Highland. They got the oatmeal porter. Really good. Really There's good. an oatmeal porter. And then you got the Puppy's Breath at Cigar City. But I'll say the one that's up to this is challenging for number one is the Ballast Point, the Victory at Sea. I don't know if you've ever had that one. And I love Ballast Point. So that's interesting. I have not had that Ooh. porter. Now, I have had the aforementioned porters that we just went through. Uh, every one of them, and I've liked all of them. I pretty much, you can't go wrong with yeah, too yeah, many yeah, porters. Yeah. But you're right. This one, by the way, I, since I haven't had the Ballast Point, I can't comment yeah. on that. But this this is really, and I, have you had the Founders Porter? Oh yeah, really, I've, I've really, had, a, okay. had a six pack and yeah. it's sitting in my fridge right now. That's kind of one of my go-tos and I'm just okay. Because you can get that all year long. There's a lot of porters that are that seasonal. Yeah, that's right. So that's one of the ones. That and the oatmeal from Highland, you can get all the Really good, there. really, really All good. right, it's one of those times we need the unmentionals here. We need to get our most favorite photo or gif all right, all right. from this past weekend with some good stuff going on here, obviously from the Miami game. So let's crank them up here one at a time. There we go. You know, you may have remembered this with Al Golden. Stop telling these kids. Stop telling, <laughs> like I told Al Golden, stop telling these kids the U is back. All right. So what do you they're think of this? All right. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Hopefully they're paying attention. Yeah, 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 that's right. That's they're a good spotted. one. Look, and now we have the whole team doing the reverse U. They're all the defensive backs doing I the reverse like U. That works. Woo! That's good. That's good. Yeah, they like that one. All right. Yeah. There we go. All right. That's very they like the crying Michael Jordan yeah, U. Like the day, there you go. And there we go. There he is again. I actually love that. And now we're going to, I think this is our buddy Snoop. Snoop oh! is, is taking the trash out. Way done. Well done, Snoop. Snoop. And one more from Snoop. <laughs> Waiting to post about beating yeah. FSU. <laughs> Snoop is And there's one it. more for Jeff, I think, on here. Is there there's oh, one. You <laughs> bastard. No. 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 no, no. I got you. you got me. You got me every time. God, dog it. Oh, what do you think of Mentionables? Let's go. Oh, yeah. Snoop, Snoop, Snoop. 
Snoop. Snoop's the winner. Snoop, Snoop. Snoop. thank you, Snoop. Anything by we gotta Snoop. Get, we got to get Snoop on the Man Cave show here. Yeah, absolutely. Snoop, get he's here great. early, buddy. Yeah, yeah, we got to get you on the Man Cave. Before we, Snoop wins. Before we go to our uh, sports segment to play a little beat golf. Beat your ass and some putting. Yeah, you've been on a roll here lately. I, mean, I, I am. Yeah, I've been winning a lot of you contests. Are, yeah. All right. Our buddy Tim Brewster, we love Tim Brewster. He's all over the Twitter Twitter yeah. sphere. Yeah. And there we go, a couple from Twitter. You know his buddy Luke. Yeah. Old Luke. Yeah. And uh, come in here in the hard fought game with did, seven Do we know if Uncle us. Luke responded to No, these? yeah, he did, because you're going to see that in the next one. And then Luke does respond. Yes, you're going to come recruit our rich talent down here. Take them to FSU. No. Oh, he concedes. Wow. He, knows he knows we're going to own them in recruiting. He knows. He's just, How cool he's, is that, though? He's just giving up. It's you got, you got like that for Luke. At least he's realistic. He's a Miami fan, but he goes, you know, you own us. I've got you're going to take wear, our talent. You're going to beat us. It is I've what got it is. Wear, I mean, he, before the game, he said they were going to have 54 on us. Yeah, close. 19? 19, 54. <laughs> He's a fan, but at least he didn't go hiding. No, he, no, he was all right. He's all right. He's, he's, and I love that Tim Brewster rubs it in. He's so good recruiting now, though, too. So you got to love that. Well, he owns the area, and it's got to be fun. Yeah. You can walk boldly into that area, your chest out when you yeah. won seven just straight games. Just put a games, t-shirt like, that says seven, seven on it. It says yeah. seven. Son, you know why I'm here. You know, I think that's an idea for a shirt. We should just come up with just some more t-shirts and just say seven. Next year, just eight. <laughs> Every just year, keep we come it going up with a new one. Nine. Yeah, each time. They see it. Yeah. It's nice. All right. Well, next we come up on the Let's War Champ Man Cave. We're going to play a little putt. And I know you're quite the golfer, Jeff. I wouldn't go that far, Gene. I'm getting there. I'm yeah, getting there. Yeah, I'm working yeah. at it. I yeah, feel yeah, you're yeah. hot and putting now. Well, you, you, you feel that. Feel you just I, I do. I'm going to be close. But I, I like that about you. All right. Thanks for tuning in. We'll be right back. Hello, Jimmy Johns? Jimmy Johns here. What took you so long? Jimmy Johns, freaky fresh, freaky fast. I love a man in uniform. Welcome to the War Champ Man Cave Show. We are here, of course, at the Seven Hill Tap Room for our final sports segment. And by the way, not only checking out the great craft beer, you're tailgating this weekend, stop by one of the many locations from Jimmy John's. They got them all around the stadium there. I know Pensacola, Tennessee, Gaines, they're everywhere. Check them out, get your mini Jimmys, load up for your tailgate. Everybody loves Jimmy John's at a tailgate. All right, Jeffrey, this Here is a, I know we're both, we love the sport a lot. Golf, oh, yeah, this is maybe not, uh, for me, this isn't my best thing, the putting aspect of it. It's the most frustrating <laughs> aspect of the game. It's how you can shave the but most strokes, so of course it's hard. Now, beginning of the season, I asked this general question to you about the ACC, and I'm yeah. curious what your thing is, because things have changed. Yeah. The always interesting Coastal Division, which is usually a dumpster fire. Actually, some pretty good teams over it, there. At, now, I think I know. I think I know what you're going to well, say. Well, you know what I'm going to say. The winner of the Coastal now is Virginia Tech. Yeah, you're on that bandwagon. I'm all in on Virginia Tech. They play defense. If they hadn't fumbled five times against Tennessee, they had a chance. I uh, I like that team a lot. They're hit, they're hitting and they're well coached. You know what? I'm going to give it to who? They've got they got the head to head against Carolina. I think Miami's going to go in the tank. Because that, that's, well, we'll what, see, that's what they've always done, right? If yeah, they, they yeah. do that, then text the team to beat there. So, yeah, yeah, I'm going with Virginia Tech, buddy. It'd All be right, nice let's, to let's start out. We get three putts. All right. See how this goes. That is so oh, good. Straight oh, straight down the yeah. middle. Yeah. Put here we the go. Pressure All right, here. All right. Yeah, yeah. First pick, Jeff. Yeah. Speaking of the Coastal Division, North Carolina at Miami. Miami, seven-point favorite at that one. I'm going to take North Carolina, Gene, for uh, – Straight up. Well, I'm going to take – oh, I didn't hit it. That's oh, it. It's still in. Still in. That's still in. Had still to tease in. me on that two one. Two for two. Two for two. Uh, no, okay, so you ask – I'm going to take uh, – So you take Carolina with seven. Not straight up. With the seven, seven I'll yeah, take okay, Carolina. Carolina. I with I'm seven. with you, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I take Carolina yeah, with seven. Yeah. I just think the FSU hangover factor. I didn't follow it last week on my pick. I should have on that. NC State Get in there, Clemson. baby. Three for three. three. Oh, my Boom, goodness. Boom, he hits it. Clemson, 17-point yeah. favorite. A lot of points. I do like Clemson once there. again. Gene, you're about to take me yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. All right, there we I go. I got to get this ball out. All there. right. All right. Yeah, they were all center cut. <laughs> All right. Um, Hopefully I'll take the Invincibles can find the third ball. Or, no, oh, no, there it is. There it is. All right, you're we're good. good. All so, right, so here we go. So what you got? You got Clemson. I think Clemson's rolling what you're doing? big, man. I think they've got their offense going now, and I think they're comfortable with the way they would dispatch to BC. I like them over NC State big. I'll give the 17. Really? That's just too many points. Too I many think, points for you? You know, Clemson's obviously going to win that game, but I don't know. NC State's not a bad team, so I could see them winning by two touchdowns. So I'll right. give, me, give me NC State. He's got NC State, so yeah. right off the bat, uh, we've got a difference there. Uh, Florida is giving 13 and a half points. Oh, oh, it's, it's already it right over, off the folks. Back. It's oh, already my gosh. over. 
Woo! Whoa. Too much pressure. No keep drama up. there at all. Oh, that's unfortunate. Let's see. Let's, if you make this one, how mad are you going to be at yourself for missing yeah, that first I'm not mad. one? It's like missing an extra point, oh, pretty is. much, you know? <laughs> Sorry, I had well to do that. Well played, sir. It is like missing an extra point. Right down the middle. Uh, just didn't, you got all the warm-ups. Yeah, that's what that's, it was. That's what I had no was. chance that's to warm-up. That's what it is. All right, Florida's given 13 and a half. I'm not sure they can score 13 and a half points in a game of this air. What do you got? I can't take that many points. My fear is Florida scores a defensive or special teams touchdown. Then they cover. But I, I'm not going to assume that, so give me that too many points. We Missouri. both got Missouri. Alabama giving 12 and a half to UT. I like Tennessee to win the game. Not to win the game, but to have oh, a chance to win the game. I was going to say. Whoa, I like Tennessee a, to have a chance to you know win the game. You know what I look at? Tennessee really really scored all those points. It's a good AM defense with seven turnovers. That yeah. offense can move an Alabama show. No defense. So I'm with you on that one. Yeah, Tennessee. I like Tennessee there, too. Ohio State, I like big. Uh, I like Wisconsin's team, but I don't think they're the caliber of athlete that Ohio State has. Camp Randall, baby. I, I they're going to beat him out right. Oh, Suck it, Urban. he's calling for the upset. Suck it, Urban. That's a lot of wishful thinking. Yeah, I know. That's what I do with Urban Meyer. I'm actually going to uh, give the 10 and a half, so we couldn't Woo! be more different. But I like that 10, 10 and a half. That's I'm going to nice take Florida State and give 21 points to Wake Forest. I don't believe in Wake at all. Man, that is... I think I picked him by 20. I hate it. You know what? I'm going I'm to go ahead. <laughs> I'll on, take Wake because I think they're going to win by. Tw- I, I just it's 21. State by 20. That might be a push. That's about the right. I just think they're going to be a little sluggish in the game. Don't you think so? I'll take Florida State 45 to 10, 45 seven. I like Florida State big. I'd be okay game. with that. I oh, like yeah, them big, yeah. but I'm going to go FSU by 20. So I guess they're not covering. Our thanks to Jimmy yes. Johns, the main sponsor, and of course the Seventh Hill Tap Room, and also our thanks. To you. Have you ever hit three putts like that in real golf that far yeah, I, out? In I, a row? Have, I really actually have. That's a good range for me. Seven feet's about okay. right for me. So next time I need to next move it back you, about another foot. Yeah, or and if I'm you good. move it up another foot, I'm in trouble. <laughs> so seven feet's good. Right. But yeah, yeah, I'll do that. For Gene, I'm Jeff. Thanks hey, for watching, sure, everybody. By the way, three to six. Money th- and it's actually four, what, four to seven. What well, you got? Uh, it's a little longer on Wednesdays, right, with the uh, headlines? Yeah, yeah, seven. Wait, so, yeah, it goes till 7. So, yeah, but, no, it's perfect. Uh, 3, three to, six. to 6, Monday through Friday, and uh, sometimes we're longer than that. But that's all right. As long it's as you been, tune it's in fun right now with FSU listening to this podcast and stuff, Thank listening to talk you. about Miami Thank good you. stuff. Good stuff. Good, good night, everybody. Folks. Peace.